But you see, these are a few important cultural things I had to throw in because it's, it's, for me, it's the end of the road. I can no longer abide by a purely Middle Eastern agenda because I'm honest and things have changed for me and, and I have a confession to make. Okay? I'm a big lover of the Middle East, but I have a confession. I'll make this confession right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't abide by a Middle Eastern agenda anymore because I am as alarmed as anybody here by the sight of Arabs at airports. I get the feeling I finally said what everybody's thinking. <laughs> finally. Finally. I love Arabs and my brothers, but I swear to God, I was flying to Glasgow recently. I saw two thick set Arabic guys in the lounge. Two guys with one eyebrow between the two of them. <laughs> Gold chains connected to black briefcases. I'm not joking, this is not the stereotypical effect. They were scouring the lounge, looking at everyone going, suspicious. I'm not getting on the plane, I'm joking. I thought I'd check everyone else out to see what they're thinking. I looked at everyone else, and they're all looking at me! Five minutes and said, calm down, so look at that. Two Asian blokes in uniforms. What's that all about? <laughs> They're the pilots, sir. <laughs> People come up to me and say, excuse me, you've got the time. I said, Do I look like a terrorist? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very paranoid time for me, you know? 